Hello everyone! So today I'm gonna draw some cute Pokémon, so stay tuned for that. But first I'm gonna unbox this thing. This is the Huion Canvas GT156 HD V2, which is version 2 I think. Graphics pen tablet, and that is quite a name. And I didn't thought I would review any more tablets, but I really liked the last Huion tablet I tried, so I was kinda curious about this one. The box looks very pretty and professional, and we have a little thank you note inside. Also, sorry for the not so great lighting now in the beginning of the video, it is really hard finding good light now in the winter. And here's the tablet that we will take a closer look at in just a moment. This tablet also comes with a stand that is like a separate piece that you just place the tablet on without screwing it on or anything. So that is pretty handy when you're storing the tablet and you don't want the stand to get in the way. The stylus comes in this really nice, luxurious case with some spare pen nibs and a tool to replace the nibs with. The pen is exactly the same as the pen for the other Huion tablet that I have, so hopefully I can use those pens with this tablet too. Then a USB cord for the pen, since it is rechargeable, but I have to say that the batteries last pretty long actually. I haven't had to recharge the pen for my other tablet so far, and I've used it a lot. A fancy schmexy glove to make your hand glide over the tablet without sticking. I will probably not use it though since it is a little too big for me and I never really gotten used to wearing those gloves anyway. Manuals and driver CD, but you can download all that on Huion's website. And a little cloth to clean the screen with, which is very handy in my case since I have cat hair everywhere. Then we have a whole little collection of plugs for you to choose from. I think I want this one. And then I just attach it to the power cord. A 3-in-1 cord with all the stuff that you will need to connect the tablet to your computer, because this tablet is like a little computer screen that you draw directly on. I really like that they are bundled together like this, because I really hate messy, tangled cords. Then finally, the tablet itself. This is a 15.6 inch monitor, and this has a bunch of shortcut keys in comparison to the last Huion tablet that I tried that had none, so this is really great for those who need the shortcut keys. The screen is matte, which prevents reflections, and I like this metallic border around it. It kind of reminds me of an old cell phone I once had. So the stand has two plates, kind of, that you fold out and adjust the angle with. And after trying it for a bit, I think there is quite a jump in the angle from the smaller plate to the larger one. But I usually just keep it in a lower angle anyway, so it didn't really bother me that much. I was really surprised on how sturdy this stand is. I could push quite hard on the sides without the tablet moving. It is a bit hard to adjust the angle with a tablet placed on it, but other than that, I really like it. It. I didn't have any trouble installing the tablet, which is a little unusual for me. I usually struggle a little. I basically just plugged it in and downloaded the driver and followed all the instructions. And I say it once again, if you are a Mac user like I am, the folder where you find the software application for the tablet will be in a locked folder. So you will have to unlock it to be able to change the settings, which is a bit weird, but that's just the way it is, I guess. I have contacted Huion about it, so they are aware of it. The monitor was very dark at first, but I could easily adjust that by holding down one of the shortcut buttons and bringing up this little menu where I could set the contrast and brightness and colors the way I wanted. The pen pressure sensitivity is fantastic, but I actually liked it better on the Huion GT191 tablet. I didn't seem to be able to get that perfect pen pressure that I wanted on this one, but this one also has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, so I don't know why it feels so different. I still think it's great though, and the lines turns out so smooth and beautiful, so if you would happen to see any squiggly lines, it is all my fault. 
Alright, so let's draw some Pokemons. I wanted to challenge myself a little, so I base all the Pokemons I draw here on circles, either for the head or for the body. There need to be a circle in there somewhere. And for some of them, like Pikachu here, it isn't super challenging since they already have some kind of circly feature. But I also just wanted to make them cute, like Chibis. Let's see if you can name all the Pokemons I draw here in this video. Also, comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this and what Pokemon or other character I should make next. Maybe I should try a different shape, like squares perhaps. So there are a few more things I like to say about this tablet. Also, I am not paid to make this review. All I say will be my own and honest opinion, as usual. There is a bunch of links down below if you want to check it out yourself or get one yourself. There is honestly not that much negative to say about this tablet, which is great. I quite enjoyed working with it. The only thing I notice is that the screen flickers a little, very shortly, a couple of times while I used it. It might be because the case that is connected to the tablet is a bit loose, but the screen is very nice to draw on, the pen glides smoothly on the surface, and the matte screen really helps against the glares if you sit by a window or under a lamp or another light source. Even if I could change the brightness of the screen, I still think it is a little dark for my taste and I noticed when I moved the art from the tablet monitor to my computer monitor, the artwork turned out a lot lighter. However, you can easily adjust that by changing the brightness in Photoshop or whatever drawing program you're using. What I think is good though is that the colors don't change that much between the screens, only the brightness. What I like the most about this tablet is how easy it is to bring out and use. I don't have my tablet on the desk all the time since I have very limited workspace and I like to set it aside when I'm not using it. And since it isn't too big and the cables are bundled together and the stand is separate, it takes no time and very little effort to bring it out and set it up on my desk. So if you don't have a whole lot of space to work with, I can really recommend this. And I can imagine it would be very easy to bring with you when traveling and such. So in conclusion, I think the Huion GT 156 HD is a really good tablet. It has a bunch of customizable express keys, 14 I think, which is great. And it is very easy to work with, it gives you a smooth drawing experience and it is easy to handle. I think I do prefer a shiny screen with an even more crisp image, but I think the matte screen works really well too. The color still looks beautiful on it. I had a lot of fun using it and I could definitely recommend it. If you have any questions about it that I forgot to mention, let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Or check out the link in the description box below for more technical details. So let's talk a little about these Pokemons. I have no idea which one I'm drawing on right now since I'm not watching the footage at the moment, but I can say I had a lot of fun drawing these. And as you may have noticed, I'm drawing these circles by hand and I'm not using any tools of any kind because I wanted them to look more organic. So they are not perfect circles, but still round enough, I think. And yeah, as I said, some of them aren't very challenging since they already have round head or bodies, but it is fun having a shape to work from. Some of them definitely turned out better than others, but they are still pretty cute, I think. Next time I might challenge myself even more by only drawing Pokemon that doesn't have any round features at all, or maybe base them on a different shape, like I said, a square perhaps. I know many of you have asked me what I do with all these tablets that I receive and review and if I can keep them afterwards. Yes, I keep them. I don't think the company would want a used tablet back. And so far I kept them all myself, but if I would know someone in real life that would need a tablet but can't afford one, I would definitely give it to them. I would give them away in a giveaway too if they weren't so big and expensive to ship.
Since I wanted these guys to be more cute and chibi, I used more pastel tones, so some of them turned out a little lighter than they normally are. Let me know which one's your favorite of the ones I'm drawing. After doing all these tablet reviews, I'm getting more and more used to drawing digitally, and I'm starting to find out what techniques I like. I always try to add some sort of texture to make it less flat, and I usually use a lighter purple for shading. I also like to add colored line art. I noticed that even if I use a dark dark blue or green or brown, it makes a huge difference for the artwork in my opinion. It feels much more alive or vivid than with just black outlines. Digital black is really really black. The hardest one to draw must be the last one I made. It was very tricky to translate into a circle shape since it isn't very round from the beginning. I asked you guys on Twitter for suggestions for Pokemon to draw and I specifically asked for complicated ones and wow there are so many crazy ones I didn't even know existed. Some of them looks like some weird abstract art. It has really changed a lot since I started watching Pokemon when I was a small small child back in 1990. I think. Oh my god, that is almost 20 years ago. My favorites of the one I'm drawing is the third and the seventh one, I think, if I can remember the order correctly. So I think that is all I had to say for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and the weird, cute Pokemons. I had a lot of fun, as I said a million times before, and I would love to draw even more of them in the future because I love drawing cute, colorful stuff. If you think this tablet look interesting, check out the links below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!